Welcome to the Hagakuri show and I'm here today with Ina and she's a very good and interesting Ukrainian teacher on Instagram and I'm so happy to have you here so could you tell first for our listeners who you are exactly uh, I'm so happy to be your um, guest today uh, thank you for inviting me. So, my name is Ina, I'm from Ukraine. Uh, I've been teaching uh, Ukrainian for a while, uh, exactly five years now. And um, I would like to share my culture, my language through the whole world. That's good. And how did you decide to start this journey? Mm -hmm. So, I want to say, when I was a student uh, of the Faculty of Translation, I decided to find a part-time job and uh, there was an opportunity to be the local teacher. Um, I uh, taught uh, adults and kids of English language, of course, and um, I really loved liked teaching and I decided yes I want to follow my grandparents and mom's footsteps because they are teachers too uh, so, uh, and uh, uh, then I I think okay um, I would like to try also to teach online because it's very convenient and you can do uh, this anytime everywhere and uh, also you can um, connect to many people and uh, I decided also to teach English online but I got an offer from the uh, Turkish students who asked me to teach him Ukrainian because he was going to enter the engineering university in Kiev and I say okay I can help you I can try to teach you Ukrainian and I really enjoyed uh, teaching my native language to foreigners so I changed my mind and I changed my uh, specialization and I started teaching Ukrainian for foreigners from all, all over the world and I had approximately 100 students from 23 countries. This is a lot and you have a yeah. lot of students yeah. from different countries. Yeah. That's good and you told that you came from a family of teachers, is that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely correct. My mom, uh, she is a teacher of Ukrainian language and literature. She has been teaching for more than 25 years now. Ah, that's very interesting. But uh, have you ever heard from someone that you should give up or stop what you're doing? Um, actually, uh, yeah, I want to say that I was thinking to do this by myself because um, I... First of all, I, I thought, okay, it's a part-time job, and then when I uh, graduate from the university, I can find some uh, serious work. And my mom, she wanted me to work in office, yeah, to find a serious position, uh, to have a boss, to work in a company. And actually, I found, um, I found uh, a work in the office, and at the same time, I couldn't give up my work online and after the working day I came back home and I worked as a teacher in the evening and also at the weekend and then I realized that I, I can't work um, anymore at office I want to do the job that I really love I enjoy and then I gave up my old uh, work and start teaching online uh, fully and that's my full time work right now and uh, about the haters yes um, I want to say that I got some haters on Instagram you know they are uh, I think that's um, a typical um, like virus here in in the 21st century on the internet so I feel okay about that okay because they are we have to accept them in our life and to say them thank you uh, for your comments uh, yeah and I want to say that actually we I think the biggest uh, haters we are for ourselves and we have to realize uh, if we really like our job and if we do then we, we don't have to listen to anybody just to follow your um, dream Makes sense to me, so I can say that you gave up the regular job to follow your dream. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And is it worth for you? Uh, if it works for me, uh, yes, it does. Of course, of course. Uh, if you organize your time well and you work well, then you can do this uh, very good. I see. And what would you say for those who want to start a new business like you did? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, you have to uh, think um, what is your mission in your life? Yeah, or for example, what you can do better than others? Yeah, and uh, just um, think about it. And also, you can get inspired by other uh, famous people. I mean, people, you, for example, you want to be a programmer or you want to be a teacher, an actor, and you can get inspired um, by the famous people in this sphere. Yeah, and then you can understand what you want to do, uh, or maybe you want to create a product. You can put a realistic goal, then you have to plan it. Yeah, how you're going to reach your goal. Also, I want to tell you that at the beginning, it is very important to invest some money, time, and energy in your in your self-development because if you want to start your own project or business you have to do many things not only to be a teacher you have to be to create creator you have to understand how to make a video how to edit it also how the instagram work or other social networks how to write a post uh, also how to if you want to write some learning materials, how to write, how to publish them. So it includes so many things and you have to understand how you can do this, how you can organize it and to play, uh, to plan in advance uh, your act. Afraid to ask for the help because at the beginning many things can be very difficult for you and you can easily give up. And if you ask some people who work in this sphere or your friends and they can easily um, support you or help you to do this, and also don't afraid to ask for the help. And I want to say that. At the beginning, also many people feel very inspired and motivated to do something, yeah? And they start to do a lot, and then when you don't see um, any good results, you just start, okay, I give up, I can't do this. You can't see very good results, so I advise you don't expect uh, high uh, results at the beginning, yeah? Because many people, they, they want uh, to get the fame or some money from their projects at the beginning but then you they see okay it's not really successful or I don't have so many followers okay I won't just give up and I don't want to do this just do your work enjoy the process uh, be consistent and you will get uh, the success uh, very soon I like that and according to you consistency is the key is that right uh, yeah, to to be yeah to be consistent. I think that's the key. Yeah, when you if you can uh, do your work every day, but just spend one hour or two hours, and if you do this regularly, then of of course you will get some results. Then you can spend some four or five hours per day and once per week. It's not a good. Uh, it's not a good idea. And speaking about that, how do you organize your routine? Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's very important to organize your routine wisely because, um, first of all, you have to organize your sleep, uh, your um, um, nutrition, and also uh, how do you feel, Yeah, your physical condition. I want to say that every day I wake up at 7, so I am. I do some... Um, morning exercises and workout then I cook some um, uh, breakfast and also I cook some dinner and um, lunch and food for uh, lunch and dinner uh, also then I do some meditation just in the morning five minutes it helps me a lot to concentrate uh, on my work and then I start my uh, work at 9 a.m. Uh, then um, I have uh, three, uh, approximately two, three lessons. Then I have some break. I I read some uh, news. I watch some videos. Then I re 
record some videos for my Instagram, I make stories, I go out for a walk, then again I have some lessons. Uh, in the evening also I try to relax, I read some uh, books about the motivation or about self-development or about some uh, philosophy and then in the evening I just I, I don't work after 8 p.m. and I don't use the technologies. I try not to use technologies after 9 p.m. because, uh, yeah, I, I, I started to follow this routine just several months ago and before it was just like a mess in my life and I lost my sleep. I couldn't sleep very good uh, because I was worried about... Um, like what is going on in my life, or I woke up very late, so I think it's not really good and it's harmful, so it's very important to organize your routine wisely and to follow it, and then if you follow it uh, just in a month, it will become your habit. And when you have a good habit, then you feel much better, you feel more productive, and it, 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 I think it also is the key to pay attention to yourself. And then when you organize your life good, you can organize your work good too. Makes sense to me, but seems like you have a very full schedule every single day. Yeah, <laughs> right now I'm very busy and I have uh, five, six lessons per day. Uh, then also I have to create some content and um, also um, I started to teach, uh, well, I'm starting to study English again. Uh, I have also a teacher online, and I think I want to improve my level of English, and I want to be uh, an advanced level um, uh, student. And I uh, teacher, and also now I'm a student too, and I wanted to feel it how to become a student again. Uh, what obstacles you have to go through when you study the, the language with the teacher and of course online because it's a different experience I think many people they are afraid of online teaching they I, I know right now it's a modern time but at the same time many people don't know how how it works and they are afraid of it but I think it, it, it is very convenient it works perfectly when you use technologies to study the language, so uh, it's great. So, yeah, and I am <laughs> pretty busy, and yeah, uh, also I am uh, I'm working on my uh, course. I want to create an offline video course for Ukrainian language students, and I'm working on it too. Uh, that's something that I was about to ask about your future plans. In mm -hmm. your business, yeah, 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 yeah. So about um, I have um, not plans, but I want to say I have goals. So first of all, I want to create I want to create more content. Free content is for Instagram, and also I post some uh, very useful posts on Facebook. And, and I'm going to open the YouTube channel where. I also can post very useful uh, videos about not only about the Ukrainian language, but also to give some tips how to study the language, uh, what techniques you can use. Also, I would like to finish my book. I have started uh, writing the book, Master the Ukrainian Cases, and I want to finish it so much. Also, I want to... Uh, to finish my uh, offline video course, uh, I'm going to um, also to create some uh, Ukrainian language course for professionals, I mean for students or for businessmen, uh, for different specialization, I would say like that. Also, I would like to write a book. Um, uh, this book is going to be for women. Uh, I would like to share my experience how to start your online business without the background. Uh, why for women? I, I would like to write this book uh, for uh, women who live in uh, Ukraine or in the post-Soviet Union countries because it's a um, difficult thing to start the business here and many women, they, more, they are more ori oriented on starting the 
family, I mean, to have the family and they are afraid to start the business and actually how to do this if you don't have a background like a very good education or when you uh, don't have like rich parents yeah or you don't have some budget for that so how to do that by yourself so that's my plans for the future sounds like a revolution that you're planning there <laughs> yeah yeah maybe i will write also about the feminism in this book so i have some ideas about this but um yeah i think i just have to start writing it and then i see how it flows good so you're businesswoman teacher and writer can i say that yeah mm -hmm. good point yeah uh, speaking a little bit more about the ukrainian language uh, in your point of view as an expert what are the advantages of learning ukrainian Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to say that uh, you have to study Ukrainian because uh, more than 40 million people uh, speak it. Uh, also, Ukrainian language is a very uh, beautiful, it's a very, um, I would say, well-developed, rich language. And Ukrainian language was created in the 12th century, so we can say it's very old language and i want to say if you uh, know ukrainian you can understand many slavic languages such as russian um polish uh belarusian uh czech, czech language so uh, ukrainian language is a different group of languages yeah of, of course it belongs also to in the european group but uh, the subgroup is slavic language and that's a great um, a great opportunity for you to study um, another language to feel it because it's a little bit different also i want to say that a ukrainian language is very b melodic one and it uh, belongs to um, no it, it, it takes the second place among the most beautiful languages in the world after the italian one and i want to say that phonetics is very beautiful you can even sing this language uh, and uh, yeah it's very beautiful especially i highly recommend my students to listen to the ukrainian language and uh, to the ukrainian language music and they can uh, listen repeat sing and uh, also i would like yeah i forget to tell about that i would like like to create also in the future the course like study ukrainian language with music because i played the guitar and the ukulele and i want to play the ukrainian songs to sing them and to also to teach some very useful vocabulary um, idioms or expressions with the help of music i think it's also a good idea and also I'd like to tell you that um, Ukrainian language is very phonetic ones and uh, letters in Ukrainian language are um, pronounced as they spelled. So the same. So you just need to start at the alphabet and then you can start reading easily. And the last reason, um, you know, Ukrainian language, uh, yeah, it's very beautiful, it's very old and Ukrainian people, we are very, um, we are very strong nation. Uh, we are very, um, we are very uh, like in independent. You know about uh, um, events that happened uh, five years ago in Maidan, and you have an opportunity to feel um, the wisdom, uh, the energy, and the. Uh, uh, all uh, love of this uh, beautiful language yeah and uh, of course if, if you're going to travel to um, Slavic countries people don't really good English speakers here and also uh, if you want just to to know some very basic stuff I also recommend you to start speak, uh, studying Ukrainian because it's also um, I think it's one of the easiest Slavic languages to start um, uh, studying it so uh, I highly advise you to uh, to go deep into this language to enjoy it and then you can start using it um, all the time yeah I'm convinced <laughs> good yeah. points that you have I I like the way that you defend the Ukrainian language uh, it's definitely on my list 
I agree with every word that you said. And speaking okay, about go. language learning, do you have plans to learn a new language in the future beyond English? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I want to say that um, I'm a bilingualist, so I study, um, no, study. I speak uh, uh, Ukrainian and Russian. Uh, yeah. Um, I am a native speaker of two languages, but also I studied English and German, and I would like to study Spanish language so much. Uh, why? Because it sounds very um, beautiful to me. Also, you know, Spanish is a um, very popular language. It takes the third place among uh, the most, um, the most um, widespread languages in the world. Also. Spanish language, um, it belongs to the same family group as English, so I'm sure it will be very easy for me to study Spanish language, yeah. Uh, and also, I think Spanish language is very musical language, and I would like to travel to Spain and to Latin America. Makes sense to me. And as you said that, that you have two native languages and you also speak English, you have experience. Um, which kind of advice would you give for those who want to learn a new language, like a first foreign language? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would like to recommend you, of course, to set a goal, first of all, because I think everything starts with a goal. Uh, studying the language is a very serious think uh, if you really want to be able to communicate in this language to understand it and to also speak it yeah so what you can ask yourself okay why would I, why would I like to study this language yeah why do I need this language yeah and then from this uh, goal you can see how much time you can uh, spend for studying this language uh, then of course Everything starts with the phonetics and speaking, and it's very good to surround yourself with this language. For example, you want to study like Spanish or Ukrainian or English, yeah, and you can start listening to this music, you can just start uh, watching some videos, you can just go deep into the culture. Also, when you start uh, studying the culture, it's also a very... Um, very powerful tool that can push you to study the language because with the culture you can open uh, open many aspects of the language and of course you can uh, focus on your hobby uh, i want to say that i really enjoy listening to music and i studied english language with the help of music i I just started to listen to the music, to read many scripts, to translate them, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it, and it helped me so much to improve my accent, because I have never practiced uh, the English phonetics, to tell the truth. I just listen a lot, and repeat a lot, and sing a lot, and it helped me so much to improve it. So you can find your interest, if you like, for example, um, like news or politics, yeah, you can just read the news. If you enjoy, uh, for example, traveling, you can explore more about the traveling. You can even travel to this country if you ha if you want. Also, I recommend you to find some language partners from this country or friends from this country. Yeah, it's very easy. You can go to some sites like, for example, tandem.com, and you can uh, find a language partner and you can communicate with this person. This person can correct you, and this is also very good way for you to start improving this language. Also, some uh, some uh, tips. Also, how how to start? What you should do? Yeah, um, use some very um, authentic materials. Yeah, uh, yeah, which can help you to improve the speaking skills. Also, be consistent. Organize your time well. Uh, get inspired with this language. Uh, just start feeling it, start speaking it, and I, I'm sure that uh, if you focus on it, and just in several months you can start using it. Yeah, and there, when there is where there is a will, there is a way. So just uh, start doing doing something, put the goal, uh, go to it daily, and you will be successful in no time. That's just the key. That's it. Good, very useful advice, I think. And mm -hmm. 
Well, I, I'm very satisfied with this interview. I would like to thank you for being my guest today. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious about the news with your book. And this called my attention. I wish you all the good luck with this. It's very curious. Mm -hmm. The topic mm -hmm. that you want to... Yeah, thank you so much for your uh, job, for your project. I wish you uh, good luck and I wish so many people to see it. And uh, you are doing a great job because uh, studying the language uh, is the way. Because when you study a new language, it's the same like you possess a new soul inside of you. So uh, thank you a lot too. Uh, it was a pleasure to be your guest today.